Ovid, always a blessing. Yes, we are back here with the man of God, Pastor Obed, on the special Q&A session. If you're watching us on Facebook, you want to create a watch party that your friends on Facebook can get into the broadcast and be blessed by it. If you're watching us wherever, whether on Facebook, whether on YouTube, whether on Cosmopolitan Television, and you are on Twitter, we want you to be tweeting aspects of the message that are blessing your heart this morning. We want you to put out the links so that others would, by those links, join in to the service and remember to use the hashtags, the Pastor Obed, Lockdown with CCI and CCI Rapture Series. Remember to do that on Twitter. Let's get the world to hear the gracious truth of the Word of God. Now, man of God, before we went on the break, we were seeing that Scripture talks about the woman that's in travail. Yes. That pertains to the church. Yes. Then we are seeing the man that is in travail. Yeah. And the outcomes of the man that is in travail. Yes. Pertaining to the two groups of people. Yes. Being the Jews. Yes. And the, Gentiles. and the Gentiles. Yes. Man of God, before we even go into it, there's, there's, there's the theological perspective that the church is the sole focus of God on the earth. No. And that, you know, God broke off with the Jews. That's replacement theology. Yes, replacement theology, as yeah. it were. And that the church... The church is now spiritual Israel. Yes. Yeah. It's not. It's... It's just, it's just blindness that's happening to them in part. And um, I would say that it's just a matter of um, a person missing, um, first of all, their Hebrew roots. And, and this, when you look deeply into that kind of um, exegesis, it lacks exhaustiveness. It's not exhaustive. Mm. It's yeah. not exhaustive. Yeah. Um, right in the book of Romans chapter 2, um, the word of God tells us, clearly that Israel shall be saved. So why, why wouldn't God concern himself with the people that he wants to save? Mm -hmm. And God is actually concerned himself, God is actually concerned with all of his creation. Anybody that singles out the church is the focus of God, doesn't understand the fabric of God's intent mm -hmm. totally, exhaustively. The and master plan of God. The master plan of God okay. is not the church. Mm -hmm. The church only takes the lead. Mm -hmm. How do you explain this when the Bible says the whole of creation, the whole of creation, Wait for the manifestation of the sons of God. Not some of creation. Not some. The whole of the creation. So whether it's Israel, whether it's Gentiles, we are all waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Okay. Even the church is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God within the church. Mm. So that the whole of the creature can now be delivered into, into the, the glorious liberty of the sons, sons of God. Yeah. So why would God just mm. say that the church is focused? No, the church is not god's only focus god created his universe and his universe is his focus now let us get into yes. the bottom line yes what is god's plan i still have the challenge of doing this tribulation thing but doing some very important things around them okay a typical situation is where is the throne of god hmm one so anytime you read the scriptures where he said and they were caught up to the throne yes. they were caught up to the throne somebody says oh he went to heaven went to paradise he went to <laughs> he went to paradise okay <laughs> um the bible says that paul said i knew a man that was caught up yes. into paradise. paradise yes that's beautiful <laughs> this is the third heaven beautiful I which is have... which which is assumed to be where god is okay <laughs> okay that's okay but then when we read the book of matthew chapter 24 <laughs> and matthew chapter 25 yes the word of god speaks to us concerning the sign of the son of man hmm. and the word of god speaks to us concerning the two dimensions hmm. of the sign of the son of man in relation to his coming in great glory okay so there is the coming of the son of man in the glory of his father okay and there is the coming of the son of man in his own glory the coming of the son of man yes in, in the, the glory. glory of his father now matthew chapter 24 verse 30 and then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven so we've seen this and then shall appear the sign of the son of man where hmm. where where is it in where in, in the heaven. Cloud. yes 
and then shall all the tribes of the earth what mourn, mourn. ah the sign of the son of man in heaven mm -hmm. then shall the all the tribes of the earth mourn mm -hmm. and they shall see, see the, the son, son of man, man coming in the clouds of coming heaven. in the clouds of, of heaven. heaven with power and with power and great, great glory. glory okay now right from this place we would have to ask ourselves hmm. what is he talking about concerning the son of man the sign of the son of man in matthew chapter 25 read and see what he says when the son of man shall come when in his, in his glory okay so in matthew 24 he just talks about the son of man coming in the clouds mm -hmm. now just a little bit of work here yes jesus christ was received in a cloud yes so how come that in his coming he comes with clouds that tells you what has actually happened between his reception into the cloud and his return with clouds acts chapter 1 verse 9 and when he had spoken these things yes while they beheld uh -huh. he was taken up he was taken up and a cloud and a cloud received him received him out of their sight out of their sight oh. but do you remember that in the book of acts chapter 1 two men appeared and they said this the same, same jesus. jesus yes he would return in like manner while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in white apparel yes. which also said ye men of galilee why stand you here gazing up into heaven mm. this same jesus which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner mm. he didn't say he will so come he mm. said he will so come in, in like, like manner mm. as you have seen him go into heaven okay so he went and was he went into heaven mm. was received by mm. a cloud. cloud now let us go back into the book of matthew chapter yeah. 25 okay and now let us see what he says even in matthew 24 oh, yes in matthew chapter 24 then shall the sun, then shall appear the sign. the sign of the son of man in heaven uh -huh. and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn uh -huh. and they shall see the son of man uh -huh. coming in the clouds not in the cloud no he is now coming in, in the, the clouds, clouds of, of heaven, heaven with what power and great glory. with power and great glory i want to show you something the sign of the son of man is coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory hmm. put that down would work on that let us go to matthew chapter 25 in matthew 25 said when the son of man shall come in his glory mm -hmm. and all the holy angels with him then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory hallelujah so the son of man when he shall appear in his glory and all the angels with him then he shall sit upon the throne of his glory okay now in matthew chapter 25 verse 32 he says and before him watch this shall be gathered all nations mm -hmm. but prior to the matter of the gathering of all nations mm -hmm. he now says that pertaining to the reward of the believers he is not going to come in his own glory he is going to come in the glory of the father hmm. would we'll come back to 31 soon now look at matthew 16 verse 27 you read for me for the son of man shall come he shall come in the glory of and then when we are done then there will be great tribulation if you are not in the um how do you call it rapture group in terms of escape then hey please 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 don't mess scripture up there are details that you have to attend to first question when the son of man hmm. appears yes. with the glory of his father in the glory of his father he comes to do a specific thing yes the matter of rewards rewards to matthew chapter 16 yes to the believers yes. now look at this matthew 16 verse 28 
27, 28. Matthew 16, verse 27 and 28. Okay. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his in Father. In the glory of his Father. With his angels. With his angels. Then he shall reward every man according to his works. Now, 28. Verily I say, Verily unto, you, I say unto you, there shall be some standing here. There shall be some standing here. Which shall not taste of death. They shall not taste of death. Till they see the Son of Man. Coming. In his kingdom. In his kingdom. What do you think he was talking about? He was talking about the first resurrection. Yes. The first resurrection. Precisely. Blessed be they that have a part in the first resurrection. Because they will reign with him. him. Yes. For yeah. how many a years? A thousand years. Now, if they are reigning with him for a thousand years, mm. is it not a yes. breakdown of okay. their reward system? Precisely. 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 So that Precisely. everybody gets his reward yes. Yes. to yes. rule yes. according to the cortex of the reward that Good. he got. According in, in like manner to the parable of the talents. Exactly. Yes. He, that he got, got five, five more. Okay. said rule over ten cities. cities. So that one, the dispatch and the inheritance mm. for the saints okay. is according to the Son of Man coming in the glory of his Father. Perfect. There are reasons for this. Mm. Now, when he comes in the glory of his Father, it is different from when he comes in his own glory. Man of God, that when he, they, are the, they are different, distinct Two comments. different things that are being dispensed over here so when the son of man shows up in the glory of his father it is referred to as the bema seat judgment for we shall all appear before christ mm. and everyone shall receive whatever he has done in this body that is the body of christ the body of christ not in this your <laughs> body <laughs> what you use this body to do in the body of christ that's what he's talking about Pastor Obed, always a blessing.